Here is the Mona Lisa. Da Vinci started painting it in 1503 while in Florence. He didn't finish his work before moving to Milan in 1506. He also took the painting to France, where he stayed until his death, and by 1517 he had already added many thin layers of paint. This painting was still in his studio at the time of his death. This painting completed over the years with thin layer upon thin layer of paint and glaze on a poplar panel shows many aspects of Leonardo's genius. The main figure of this painting is Francesco del Giocando's wife, Lisa del Giocando. Francesco was a silk merchant for the Medici family who made his fortune dealing with customers across Europe. He commissioned a portrait of his wife, who had just turned 24. Why did Leonardo accept this request? At the time, he was unmoved by Isabella d'Este's constant attempts at persuading him to paint for her, even though she was the Marquis of Mantua and a rich and influential patron of the arts. He was also known to be in a situation where he was too obsessed with scientific research to do much else. There are many stories and theories, but perhaps the reason why Da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa is because she was an unknown person and not a famous aristocrat or celebrity, which gave Leonardo the artistic freedom to experiment with his painting style. Maybe it's also because Lisa had a beautiful and mysterious smile. Let's talk more about this painting in detail. The mysterious charm of the Mona Lisa begins with a wooden panel prepared by Leonardo. The dense wood grain panels cut from poplar are larger than those that were typically used for regular home portraits. Da Vinci applied thick lead white oil paint instead of the commonly used mixture of gesso, chalk, and white pigments. He knew that this undercoat would better reflect the light that penetrated through the thin, translucent glaze, thereby increasing the depth and brightness and creating a three-dimensional effect. Due to the reflected light, it looks slightly different depending on the condition of the light and the position of the viewer. There are a lot of amazing stories, but let's focus on Mona Lisa's smile. Leonardo hired people to play music and sing in front of Lisa while he was painting the portrait. He even hired clowns to make her laugh. This already demonstrates how Da Vinci broke away from the traditions of earlier artists who often painted portraits with a melancholic air. This painting became so influential and recognizable that whenever the British Army had to contact the French Resistance's allies during World War II, it used the code "Le Joconde garde un sourire," or in English, "The Giocando keeps her smile." Please take time to appreciate her everlasting smile.